Olympics, and Governor Mark Sanford has not decided yet if he will sign a tourism marketing bill that could lead to a higher sales tax in Horry County. Now, that's according to the governor's press spokesperson who told News 13 today that Mr. Sanford hasn't had a chance to fully look at that bill. The bill has passed both the House and the Senate, and it's headed to the governor's desk. Now, in a press conference today, members of the Myrtle Beach Area Hospitality Association came together to rally support for the tax. News 13's Aisha Khan was there. Aisha? Martha, those supporters say the beach is competing with several other popular destinations when it comes to tourism. That's why they say they are requesting the governor to make the right choice to sign the bill. I also spoke with one tourist who says she just bought a beach house here because of the area's low cost of living, but isn't sure if she's ready to pay any more taxes. To tax or not to tax? That's a question Horry County is still waiting to get an answer on. Members of the Myrtle Beach Area Hospitality Association say a 1% sales tax is desperately needed, especially for tourism, as the beach is in fierce competition with several other popular vacation destinations. If we don't have marketing money out there, uh, people are there are not going to be as many vacationers as there normally would be. That's something New York native and longtime tourist Patty Dittis says she disagrees with. She says that she recently bought a beach house to rent, but isn't sure now if she made the right decision. I rented very inexpensively, so the people can have a vacation now. It's a recession. Nobody has any money. You're going to keep piling up the price of every little thing that they have to pay for in addition when they come down here. Nobody's going to come. But that's not the mentality local businesses have. Restaurant owner Jonathan Staten says it is indeed the recession that's hurting his business, and 1% sales tax could really be the savior. The money that is coming to these locals that are spending their money at my establishment comes from tourism. That's our industry here. An industry members of the Beaches Hospitality Association say needs the tax to not only boost the area's tourism population, but also bring back jobs. Once we know that that marketing is out there, then we can kind of resume our normal hiring process and put people back to work. Now, as mentioned earlier, the measure has already passed in the House and the Senate, but it still needs to go to Governor Sanford, where he can either sign it into law, veto it, or do nothing at all. And if he chooses not to respond in the next five days, the bill will automatically become law. Bob? All right, News 13's Aisha Khan, thanks for that live report.